Children need to obey mom and dad. Okay, yes, dad is at the top within the family uh, under God alone, right? But at that point, you have mom, and then you have the kids. Kids have to listen to mom and dad. They are both authorities in their life. And I don't care if it's a boy or a girl, they are both subject unto mom in the household. Your house cannot stand if it's divided. Whatever role you play in the house, don't cause division. Don't cause the strife because your house will fall. Eventually, it's going to fall. It's not going to, it can't last that way. We need to work at keeping our household strong. Obviously, you don't want to be the cause of your family falling apart. And we know that there's going to be coming a time when houses will be divided when the love of many waxes cold. The Bible says in Matthew 24, 12, and because iniquity shall abound, the love of many shall wax cold. So there's going to be a lot of people losing their love to the point because sin just abounds, because people are just getting so involved in sin. And what does that show you? When people are so involved in sin, they're involved in themselves. People become very selfish because they're only thinking about them. When people are just, just giving themselves over into all sins, they're giving themselves over the lust of their own flesh. They just care about gratifying themselves as opposed to thinking about others. And because of that, their love waxes cold. The love's going to get cold. And in Mark 13, which is a parallel passage to Matthew 24, the Bible says in verse 12, Now the brother shall betray the brother to death, and the father the son, and children shall rise up against their parents, and shall cause them to be put to death. And ye shall be hated of all men for my name's sake, but he that shall endure unto the end, the same shall be saved. There's going to be families split up, especially in the end times. That's why it's so much the more important. And, and in the context here, they're betraying each other because the kids aren't believing in Jesus Christ and the parents are, right? Or, or vice versa, where you've got people who are saved against people who are unsaved and they're delivering them up to be put to death. Hey, they're ratting out the person who's a believer to the Antichrist, right? Oh, yeah, my, my family, they're, they're, they're those believers, Work on getting the people in your family saved. You don't got to worry about this. Now, I have a whole nother section on the church being the other house. But I'm not going to get into all of this just for sake of time tonight. For homework, you can read Ephesians chapter 4. That talks about, and, and we've gone over this passage quite a bit recently, I feel like, in a lot of my sermons. God giving apostles and prophets and teachers, evangelists, pastors, teachers for the perfecting of the saints, for the work of the ministry, for the edifying of the body of Christ, till we all come in the unity of the faith and of the knowledge of the Son of God unto a perfect man, unto the measure of the stature of the fullness of Christ. So God wants this house to not be divided because when it's divided, you're not going to be operating in full force, right? The body is going to be fighting against itself, like Satan fighting against himself, instead of actually working together and going out and doing something good. And it's the same thing at home, in the family. You know, in order to, 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 to allow your family to prosper in all manners, spiritually, physically, with everything, you need to be working in unison, in conjunction, together. You need to be on the same team. You need to know and understand that, hey, we're both in this together for life. Let's make this work. Let's not be at odds with each other. Let's make our family work. Let's do the same thing within the church. Let's not find every reason to separate and cause division within the church. Look, I'm not all for just reaching out and this whole ecumenical mindset of, of just anyone who even says the word Christian is all just we're going to join together. But within our church, it's completely different. People who already agree to the core doctrines, to the fundamentals, to, to, to salvation by grace through faith, the King James Bible, to the things that we believe in here as a church. Look, we don't need to be seeking out other reasons to find division that are not biblical within our church. Let's keep this house not divided. Let's keep us together. Let's all join together and do the work that God has for us and all fall into the places, into the roles as individual members of this body that God has placed you in so that we can do great things for the Lord. Because when you're focusing in on each other and all the faults that everyone else has, we're not focusing on actually doing the work and that's going to cause the house to fall.